All right, everyone, RJ here. Welcome back to the channel, and today I'll be doing a speed test comparison between the Moto G Stylus 5G 2023 and the OnePlus Nord N30 5G. Okay, so I picked these two phones here to do a speed test because both of these here are really underrated, really good phones, in my personal opinion. If you buy these phones here unlocked, you can buy these phones for around the 250 mark or less. Now, these are last year's phones, but they still work very, very well. And also, you can, you know, if you go for a prepaid carrier, you can get these here for free sometimes. So, I mean, you can't really beat that either. And look at the Motorola. Motorola just has a really nice look here. You know, it does not really gather fingerprints, nothing like that. I like the color shift. It's not a really shiny back, so I do like that about it. Now, here on the OnePlus, you can see very reflective. It picks up every piece of dust that you can find. And so putting it into a case is, was, is what I'd recommend doing because uh, it's very mirror-like. And uh, that's kind of the one thing about the phone that I don't care that much about. But yeah, other than that, uh, look at the camera modules there. Much larger here on the OnePlus phone. Let's turn the phones around here. Both have some amount of fingerprint scanners, and both of them do work pretty well, as you can see right there. Now, these phones, both these phones have full 1080p displays. I want to say a 6.6 .6 inch over here on the OnePlus, 6.5 inch here on the Motorola, and they're full 1080, no AMOLED or IPS LCD displays. So both of them are going to look pretty good, no issues whatsoever. Now onto the processors, the Motorola is running the Qualcomm Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 Octa-Core processor with 6 gigabytes of RAM. Now for the OnePlus, it run, it's running the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 Octa-Core processor, also 6 gigabytes of RAM. So pretty similar here, but we're going to see in a speed test here just which one is faster. And I will say this again, these are not scientific tests. You're not going to indicate how your phone is going to work on day-to-day -day usage. It's just two phones side by side, open an app, see who gets there faster. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Now just looking at the phone here, the Motorola is a very smooth and snappy phone. The 120 Hz display, it works very well without any issues, really any hiccups at all. Kind of the same way with the OnePlus over here. You know, under light to moderate usage, it works just fine. It is smooth and has very little issues, very little problems. As you can see here, they just they just work. You know what I'm saying? So first thing I want to do right now is run a Geek is run a Geekbench 6 test. So let's go ahead and show you those scores. Okay, so the scores are in, as you can see, 943 single core and 2724 multi-core here on the Motorola, and 907 single core and 2062 multi-core here on the OnePlus. So not much difference there. A bit higher the multi-core here, you know, on the Motorola. Now, unfortunately, the Motorola is still running on Android version 13, while over here on the OnePlus, we are on Android version 14. So I figured by now they would actually give this phone 14, but so far, no luck. Let's go ahead right now and run a 3D Mark test. Okay, so we're here now on the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme test. Let's go ahead and just start these up now. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead, let this here finish out, and I'll come back with the results. Okay, so the Wildlife Extreme tests are finished, and neither one are going to be breaking any records here. You got 612 on the Motorola and 364 on the OnePlus. Now, those are very low scores, but this these are budget phones. I'm running an Extreme test. So don't expect any kind of high scores here on these two phones. And the frame rates are like 3.6 average and 2.1 average. So I just run this test right here. These these phones do play games just fine with very little issue without, without any real problem whatsoever. So, so let's go ahead and clear everything out here. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get in with this test starting now. That goes to the Motorola. Let's go into YouTube. The Motorola once again beat it out. Let's go into the calculator. Faster on the OnePlus. Let's go into calendar. Faster there on the Motorola. Let's go into the clock. First there on the OnePlus. Let's go into Amazon Shopping. First there on the Motorola. Let's go into eBay. 
faster there on the Motorola again. Let's go into Best Buy. And faster there on the Motorola. But the scrolling does just fine. No issues. Let's go over here to Products. Well, I missed tap that there. Let's go into Cell Phones. And you can see right there, it's going to basically be about the same. So, yeah, there you go. Let's go into Twitter. Faster on the Motorola. Let's go into Netflix. Faster there on the Motorola. Let's go into Hulu. Faster there on the Motorola again. Let's go into Instagram. That was faster there on the Motorola. Let's go into the Play Store. About the same there. Let's go into Tubi TV. And faster there on the Motorola. Let's go into Dead Trigger. Game moves on by default and started up faster there on the Motorola. Let's go ahead and push play. And very, very similar there. That was very close. Too close to call on that one there. Let's go ahead and go into Temple Run 2. And let's see which one gets there faster. And that will be the Motorola. But like I say, it's ever so, it's ever so, you know, it's not by a big margin, nothing like that. Let's go into Subway Surfer. It's going to be close. That goes to the Motorola once again. But once you get to playing, you know, both of them are going to be just fine. You know, gameplay works just fine on both of these phones here. No real issue whatsoever. But I will say that the Motorola just seems to have better touch responsiveness. I was noticing that when I was opening up the app. Sometimes it looks like that I was touching the Motorola first. But I was really, really pushing them at the exact same time. But the, but the responsiveness of touch seems to be better on the Motorola than on the OnePlus. So, kind of giving you, just kind of throwing that out there. Because I know what, on some tests it looked like that I was pushing the Motorola first. But I really wasn't. So, anyway, let's go ahead and check out RAM management. Now, 6 gigabytes of RAM here. I am not expecting all these apps to be open. I really ain't. Yep, a, re, a reload there on Dead Trigger. Uh, 2B was open. Motorola, uh, Play Store was open. Uh, Instagram was open, Hulu, Netflix, Twitter, Best Buy, eBay, Amazon had to reload, I got the clock, calendar, calculator, YouTube, and the Bible. Honestly, I'm impressed. Only two reloads, I think, in that whole thing there. Let's go ahead and do the OnePlus the same way. So far, so good. Uh, okay, open, still open there on the OnePlus. Tubi was open. Play Store, Instagram, Hulu had to reload there. Netflix had to reload. Twitter was open. Best Buy had to reload. So more reloads here as the further along we go, as you're seeing right there with the OnePlus. So started out really good, but even having to reload the calendar there. So, yeah, reloading YouTube and even the Bible. So, yeah, it started out good on the OnePlus, but ended up poorly. So, I would say that the RAM management is way better here on the Motorola, which is surprising because OnePlus, we, we know how OnePlus is. So, I mean, there you go. There's the test. If I had to pick one of these two phones, I would say go with the Motorola. Um... You can see all that little, all that dust right there that this phone collects. It's just, it's a dust magnet. You don't see it that much here on the Motorola, but you will see it quite a bit here on the OnePlus. So I would say overall, my winner here will be the Motorola. You know, it just seems like it's a better phone. I like the stylus. You know, it's just, the stylus is good. Both of them have decent cameras, and both of them are going to work very well. It's just depending on what you want in the phone. Do you want something that feels a little bit more slim? Something with a stylus you can kind of like, you know, use if you need a stylus. Um, you know, performance is better, in my personal opinion, and everyday usage on the Motorola. 
Uh, the Nord N30 is not a bad phone whatsoever. If you like the look of the OnePlus, if you like the way it, you just all anything about it, then there's really no right or wrong answer here I can give you. I just prefer the Motorola over the OnePlus, and that's saying a lot because I'm not a real big Moto fan. But I but when a phone's good, I gotta say it's good, and that's Motorola here is a really good phone. But not putting any you know slack here on the OnePlus. A big OnePlus fan over here, but I got to give it second place in this test. So, tell the form of it anyway. Hit the like button. Any questions you may have, leave it below. If you're new here and not a subscriber, please consider subscribing and push that bell for all post notifications, and I would appreciate it. Y'all have a good one, and thanks for watching.